All right, hey folks, Jesse here with Southern Reels Fishing, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually out exploring. Occasionally I'll take a trip and go out and spend a day just searching and trying new stuff, which is pretty much what I'm doing today. I'm way out here on the eastern shore, nowhere near where I would normally fish up here. Pretty much fishing for flounder. It's just one of the fish that I prefer actually catching the most. So the depths I'm fishing today range anywhere from 30 to 2 feet. I'm used to fishing structure. Today, mainly what I'm looking for are channels and drop-offs where current is flowing, and that's pretty much what I'm concentrating on. I've got a lot of ground to cover, and I'm back in the pro angler today, which I have to admit is very nice. I'm kind of enjoying the uh, Cadillac style of the pro angler at this point already. So anyway, I don't get out here and get started. I finally kind of made it to the general area where I want to be. Who knows? Might get skunked, might not. But you never know if you don't take a chance. So wish me luck, guys. All right, hey folks, I explored around for a good four or five hours this morning. All I caught was a bunch of croaker and crabs. Pretty much satisfied my curiosity about the area that I looked into or wanted to look into. And it's just really nothing there what I could find anyway. Now the water is really muddy today, so that definitely isn't helping anything. Um, I've been on running the motor for about the past hour to get all the way down here. And I'm gonna try to save the day and hopefully catch some flounder out here around uh, the bridge that I normally fish. Anyway, I'm about to the bridge up here. I'm gonna try to get some fishing in and hopefully save the day. So we'll see what happens. Well, hey folks, I'd tell you, I was beginning to wonder today, but it finally started picking up. I just landed a 23-incher and then a 16 and a half. I threw the 16 and a half back. The water was just really muddy out here. You can look around and see. I mean, when I got over here to the bridge, I was like, holy crap. But as the tide is changing, it's slowly starting to clear it up. And sure enough, they're starting to bite. They really are digging my, uh, my new get up here. Two glass minnows. I guess they're half or three-eighths. I'm not even sure. And I just got really, really bright colored gold shrimp on them because the water is still kind of murky. But as soon as I started using this, I got bites. So anyway, I'm gonna keep on fishing, see if I can get some more.
All right, folks, I just want to give a real quick lesson here. We got this little shoreline right here, and there's a channel that runs through. And if you pedal out away from the shore, you'll notice that there is, I hope y'all can see that, pretty sharp drop off. There we go. It goes from like six feet down to about, well, maybe it keeps going on a little bit. Yep, see, 12 foot. All right, that's a good thing to look for to find some flounder because they'll hang out right on that slope right there, waiting for something to get washed over. Well, I've gone back and forth over this thing, and I know that it goes th this way along the shoreline and this isn't just here specifically this is pretty much anywhere that you would fish and trying to find flounder you see a sharp slope like that in the water try to line up with it and jig it keep your depth just right and a lot of times you'll catch fish i've done caught two off of it just sitting here let me see if we can get another one 